Zar Rata Roy N. Ma N is the 55th Shura of the Quran with 78 ayats. It has the refrain, Then which of your Lord's blessings would you deny? Title, the title of the Shura, which appears in verse 1, means the most beneficent. The divine appellation of Rahman also appears in the opening formula which precedes every Shura except Shura 9. English translations of the Surah Euro unregistered trademark S title include the All Merciful, the Lord of Mercy, the Beneficent, and the Mercy Giving. Classification Scholars have disagreed about whether Al Rahman ought to be categorized with Shuras of the Makkah or Madina period. Theodore Nar Paragraph L D E K E and Carl Ernst have categorized it among the Shuras of the early Makkah period, but Abdel Halim has categorized it in his translation as Madinian. According to the traditional Egyptian chronology, Al Rahman was the 97th Shura revealed. Now, paragraph L D E K E places it earlier, at 43, while Ernst suggests that Shura 55 was the fifth Shura revealed. Structure Al Rahman is composed entirely in Saja Euro unregistered trademark, the rhymed, accent based prose characteristic of early Arabic poetry. Owing, perhaps, to the Surah Euro unregistered trademark as poetic beauty, it is often regarded as the beauty of the Quran. In accordance with the Hadith, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud reported that Muhammad said, Everything has an adornment, and the adornment of the Quran is Surah Araman, by Haki and Shab al Ayman. The most notable structural feature of al Rahman is the refrain, which, then, of your Lord a Euro unregistered trademark as blessings do you both deny? Which is repeated 31 times in the 78 Ayyar Shura. The Shura is composed of 26 couplets, 4 tercets, and an introductory stanza of 13 Ayyars, all ending with this refrain. The final couplet is followed by a blessing of Allah Euro unregistered trademark S name. Thematically, Al Rahman can be divided into roughly three units. Verses 1 to 30 expound upon natural displays of Allah Euro unregistered trademark s creative power and mercy and showering those who inhabit the earth with blessings. Verses 31 to 45 describe the final judgment and the terrible punishment that will be inflicted upon sinners. Verses 46 to 78, by contrast, detail the delights that await the pious in paradise. Content one of the main aims of the shura is to chastise men and jinn for their lack of gratitude towards Allah, who has showered them with an abundance of blessings. Verses 1 to 30 describe some of the resources that Allah has graciously provided for the men and jinn he created, in his infinite mercy, out of clay and smokeless fire, and set down under a sky illuminated by the twin risings of the sun and moon. In addition to these material blessings, Verses 1 to 4 recount the fact that Allah taught man how to communicate and even gave him the Quran to guide him on the path to righteousness. The refrain, which, then, of your Lord a Euro unregistered trademark s blessings do you both deny, chastises the bountifully provided for men and jinn for failing to acknowledge their indebtedness to Allah for his tremendous mercy. The punishment that awaits these ungrateful creatures is briefly described in verses 35 to 45. For the remainder of the Shura, the delights of the gardens of paradise are lyrically described, punctuated throughout by the stinging refrain which draws attention to the discrepancy between Allah Euro unregistered trademark s mercy in providing such luxuriant rewards and the ingratitude of men and jinn. The idea that Mana Euro unregistered trademark s gratitude towards Allah is not commensurate with Allah Euro unregistered trademark s tremendous mercy is a central, recurring theme in the Quran especially in the early Meccan Shuras, and Shura 55 is an important poetic treatment of this theme. The Shura also exemplifies the Qur'ana Euro unregistered trademark s tendency to be self-referential and self-validating, as when in verse 2 it emphasizes the fact that Allah taught the Qur'an to man out of mercy. In terms of theological developments, Al-Rahman introduces a three-tiered classification of men and jinn, the best of believers, the ordinary believers, and the disbelievers. This division is echoed in the following shura, al waqiyah Euro unregistered trademark A. Finally, it is worth noting that the shura is dominated stylistically by pairs, which in the Quran are frequently employed as a sign of the divine. To begin with, it is addressed to a dual audience of men and jinn, 
in Haliema Euro unregistered trademark s translation of the refrain, which, then, of your Lord a Euro unregistered trademark s blessings do you both deny. Both is understood to refer to men and jinn. Natural phenomena are also referred to in pairs, for example, the sun and the moon, the stars and the trees, the two risings and the two settings, of the sun and the moon, and the two bodies of fresh and salt water. In addition, paradise is described as consisting of two double gardens, each of which contain a pair of springs and fruit in pairs. Recitation References External links <laughs>